Hi, this is Stephen Francoeur, and I've been fooling around with a free uh, desktop sharing app called Yugu. Um, and let me show you how it works. I'm trying to figure out if there might be use for this in uh, digital reference services. So what would happen is uh, you'd have to send a link um, to the patron that would take them to this page, and then you're going to give them a PIN number so they can log in. The patron won't need to do any sort of logins on their computers. You're going to send them to yugu.com slash share. And they're going to get a page where they can join the meeting. Now on my computer as the librarian, um, I have a desktop app from Yugu that I have to download and install. The patron has no downloads, but the librarian must download something. So let me um, do a quick little share here. So the patron, I would tell the patron the PIN number, and in this case it's 376-443, and the patron's got to type in a name, so here I'll just put in Joe College as our student name, and uh, Joe's going to connect. So Joe is our student, and I'm the librarian. So now um, I can see that Joe's in, and I'm on the desktop app as uh, the librarian, I'm going to click a show button, and in a moment the patron will see what I'm seeing on my desktop right now, which is the library's homepage. It should take just a second to come through. There we go. Okay. So um, I can go around and go to web pages, and whatever I go to, the patron's going to see. I just went to the college homepage, and I can go back to the library homepage. Okay. You can also share anything that I bring up on my screen. So um, I've just jumped over into PowerPoint. These are the slides from a presentation I just did recently. Um, so whatever program, basically whatever I've got on my screen as the librarian, I can share with the patron. It doesn't have to just be a web page. It can be any document. Um, we'll go back to the library's website. I could also show the patron. Um, so maybe the patron says, you know, uh, I need help finding articles on Google Google's human resources. Okay, so they're going to send me a message and I'll say, oh, okay, I can help you with that. Um, so let me send a reply. Sure, I can help with that. Let's go to the ABI Inform Global Database. Okay, and I could be typing messages along as I go to sort of highlight what I'm doing. You can see on the user screen, there's a little red pointer that shows exactly what I'm about to click on. So I'm going to go to Databases, then I'm going to click on ABI Inform Global, click Connect, and hopefully the user's following along with this. I could be typing out messages as well. I'll type in Google and do that as a company and human resources you like that and click search and the user can see what I've typed on their screen and they'll see my search results and if I resort the search results by say relevance my screen will refresh and then the patrons will patron will see that screen as well okay one thing that's kinda cool is if I click on an article it should come up on the user's end. And at any point, the user can click this Request Control button. That's going to send a message to me on my librarian interface. Um, I shouldn't say librarian, the, what I'm calling the librarian interface, but my desktop app. And I can accept um, that I'm going to let Joe College have control of the system. So now, Joe College, if he moves his cursor around, he can click on things. It's a little pokey, but it'll take us back. It'll take us both back to whatever he clicks on. So right now I'm using Joe College's computer here, clicking on things, and on the librarian screen, uh, it's taking us to those pages. So this is the good old-fashioned co-browsing that uh, Question Point and other uh, chat reference software providers uh, struggle to get to work, and it seems to work okay here in Yugu. The real trick would be to see if this works off campus um, when the user's off campus. I'm doing this little demo here in my office with a, a laptop that's connected to the wireless 
network here in the library and that's my Joe College computer and then my desktop computer I'm using as the librarian's computer. I'm curious to see if I were to try this from off campus as the user slash student uh, if we'd still be able to get into the databases and all but so here we are and I'm able to share screens and you can s might be a way to uh, demonstrate to users how to run searches for things. Um, and that's all for today. I hope to discover more about this service, including the online conferencing option, and see if that might also be of, of use here.